Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Andre Bishop and Isaac Ice Cold Frost. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different athlete, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, no. it's unbelievable. He put Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but a similar reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA! Iceman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to corners, my friend. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And he landed the right hand there. Effective punch there by Bishop. Plus right hand is true.
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, ice cold. Frost gets caught with that punch. Gotta show up the defense here. Connects now with the one-two. He blocks the punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Can't take many of those, you better check. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just unable to quite find that range. And there comes the separation now. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Bishop. Blocks the shot. Oh, effective strike there by Isaac Frost. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Straight to the body by Frost. Oh, big elbow! Straight right hand, no good. Isaac Frost gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Frost. Big left hook coming is blocked. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Ten seconds now in round one. Effective punch there by Bishop. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
just out of range with that left hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight punch lands. Cross lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on the fight. Block all these attacks. Unable to land with that punch. How good is that right hand? Slips to avoid the right. Nice loop and punch. Just misses with the straight right. Clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Frost's his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Punch over the top. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. on the straight right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Right hand landed. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Just missing on the counter there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head. The well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Bishop. Slips the punch. Good punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Just missed with the left there. Ten seconds remain in round two. Right on the button. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed. 
right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Frost punched to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Big kick. Ooh. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Frost's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. This big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He lands flush with that right hand. Back and forth we go. Takedown defense holds up. And oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Bishop. Straight right, he misses. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Caught the kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Lynch with the right hand. But that punch, no good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A oh, little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that... All the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Wow. Big punch lands through the middle. Very nice leg kick there by Bishop. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Ooh, blocks the shot. Missed with that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. 30 seconds remain in the left. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Bishop. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Swing and a miss by Bishop. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Just missing on the uppercut there. Good stick. Nice. Oh, big right hand, yes. Try to establish that jab. Punch his block. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And that one certainly found the target. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Great punch landing with so much power. Straight right hand now just misses. Lands the overhand right. All right, so it connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. How about that shin? Trying to establish that jab once again. Less than a minute to go in the round. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie oh. here. Zeus hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Thirty seconds to go. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now. Get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. It is the fifth and final round. Huge block there. Misses with the left hook. Nice punch there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. <laughs> Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Bishop. Counter jab. Snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice. Oh, huge block. Bishop's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet! Bishop's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Not there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Effective strike there by Bishop. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got a... Oh! Oh, he and he lands. Wow! 
All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Bishop. All right, side control now. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then... Wow! It's over now. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iceman. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.